Hi class, it's Ms. J and it's time for art. But before we start, oh, this is Wilbur. Wilbur's my pet pig. He is such a sweetie. Can you guess what we're going to draw today? Yeah, we're going to draw a pig. Before we even start, look at Wilbur's snout. That's what you call a pig's nose. And look at his tail. Oh, isn't that cute? He's got a curly tail. Pigs do. And he's got cloven feet, which means his toenail is split into two. So ask your mom or dad to get you a cup of milk or cookies, a piece of paper, and a pencil, and some crayons. I'm going to use dark pink, light pink, brown, and maybe green for grass. And Wilbur is such a sweetie. He's so excited because we're going to be drawing a pig. But Wilbur, time to go sit over there. Don't interrupt. This is a Chinese paper cut of a pig. Look at that. It is all cut out of paper. One piece of paper and it's covered with very tiny scissors. And this pig has flowers on him. That's interesting. And there's a very famous American pop artist. His name is Andy Warhol. And he actually painted a pig. Can you imagine? That is crazy. I think he painted it with watercolor paints or maybe makeup. I don't know. I don't know how he painted a pig without the pig running away. But it is a beautiful pig and has flowers on him, like that Chinese paper cut we just looked at. And sometimes there are even pigs who paint. This is really weird. Look at that. The pig is holding a brush in his mouth and painting on canvas, but he's not painting a pig. And I think it's kind of funny that a pig would paint. Pigs are very smart. And we're going to learn about a famous American artist whose name is Jamie Wyeth. This is actually a painting Jamie Wyeth did of himself. I know it looks like a photograph, but it's not. Jamie Wyeth has a very famous father named Andrew Wyeth and a grandfather named N.C. Wyeth and an aunt. And they were all very famous painters. He almost had to become a painter. And he painted, he lived in Pennsylvania, he still does, and he's painted his neighbors and some famous people. And he paints farm animals. Look at this pig. This is Den Den. Den Den belonged to his neighbor, and after Jamie painted him, he decided to buy him. Actually, it's a her. He bought Den Den, and Den Den lives happily ever after on Jamie Wyeth's farm. Now, the pig we're going to paint isn't going to be quite as realistic as Den Den. It's a little stylized, a little simpler. And this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to use a marker so it shows up, but I'd suggest using a pencil or crayons. I'm going to start by making a big curvy line like that. And then I'm going to make this the face so I'm going to, and head. So I'm going to do a little line out like that for a pig's ear. And then a swoopy down line like that. And at the end, I'm going to do a little circle with two dots for the pig's snout and nostrils. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a wobbly line like that. And pigs have small eyes, so I'm going to do one small piggy eye like that. And another little wobbly line for its mouth, sort of smiling. And then I'm going to go back to the bottom and do a long line down like this. 
and I'm going to do a W to make his hoof and leg. And then I'm going to do another curvy line like that for our pig belly. And then I'm going to draw a second leg. And I'm going to do that W and go up. Almost joins his wobbly chin. And then I'm going to do a third leg with the W like that. We're still missing one net leg. So I'm going to go back and draw our other leg. And that, oh, I forgot his tail. What would a pig be without a curvy curly tail? I'm going to do a little loop like that. Go around, do it again. And they have a little bit of hair on the end of their tail. So there's the pig. Now I'm going to start with my dark pink crayon. I'm going to give him cheeks because he's not a real pig, so he can look like he's wearing a little blush. And a little dark pink snout. And maybe, oh, I left off the pig's ear. How did I do that? I'm going to just do another little ear there. And I'll put a little pink on his ears. I think since he's got these interesting toenails, I'm going to do his toenails in dark pink. Like that. Like that. And of course, I'm going to make his tail dark pink. Like that. And then we're going to use a light pink crayon. And pigs are pretty big, so it's going to take a while to color in this whole pig. Now, my pig, Wilbur, is a baby pig. And baby pigs are called piglets. Winnie the Pooh has a piglet, too. Someday you must read Winnie the Pooh. It's taking quite a while, isn't it? And I'm not even being very neat about it. And then because pigs love to be in the mud, it's just so good for their skin because their skin is very delicate. It's kind of like having a facial. I'm going to put some brown on his legs and feet. A little more brown on that one and on this one because they're in the back on the other side of the pig. So it's kind of like in the shade and a little bit here. And because the pig has been lying in the mud, I'm going to give him a brown belly and maybe I'll just do a little bit of brown in other places. Now, Jamie Wyatt's pig is standing in a lot of grass. Actually, I think that's some straw and hay they put in the pig pen. So I'm going to do a little bit of green right there for our pig. And maybe I'll add a little bit of brown so he has a little mud too. Kind of like that. And that is how you draw on Jamie Wyeth pig. Let's see if it looks like Jamie Wyeth's. Hmm. I think they're pretty much the same. Jamie Wyeth is very famous, but maybe you'll be famous sometime too. So I'm going to bring Wilbur back to say goodbye. Look at him. He's so excited. I love Wilbur. He is a sweetie. So have a good day. Finish your pig. Put him on the refrigerator. I don't think he'll eat too much. And we'll see you later. Bye.